Hey everybody, welcome back to the Modern Stacker. In this quick video, and I do mean super quick, because it's late and uh, I'm tired. <laughs> I, but I wanted to put this video out and wanted to get it out here in the morning because uh, I've been noticing a trend here in the, in the markets. So if you notice here, I'm on trading view and we're looking at silver. And one of the things I've been tracking recently is um, funnels. So whenever there's a stock pattern that happens in a, like just a series, uh, it gets into a funnel, and then when it breaks the funnel, uh, either up or down, uh, things happen. And so it's like broke here, and it went down, and that's a new funnel. Uh, in this case, it went below the 200-day moving average, but now we're above the 200-day moving average, so that means we're in a bull market. So here is a funnel, here's a funnel, here's a funnel, here's a funnel. Well, we're in a new funnel right now, and this is what I wanted to talk to you about in this video. So as we go into the next week, we are in this new funnel, and these are the ranges that we can expect to play around with. Now, if you, again, we're above the 200-day moving average, that's what that line is down here, and when you see the price of, of uh, spot price of silver break either of these lines, either going up, then that means there's gonna be a spike. If it breaks down here, then that means we're gonna go lower. So just as we're going into next week, the 12th through the 19th, one of the things that you can be doing is you can draw these lines just kind of like I've got and just keep an eye on it. And so if you see it come down here and then break through these barriers, that might be a good opportunity to hold off any major purchases that you have uh, because there may be a break that's coming. So just something to be looking for. Again, these are probabilities, you know, and these, you know, probably could work out in, into your favor. Again, just uh, these are some things that I seem to track and they seem to be pretty consistent. Charts don't uh, usually deviate from too many things because these are all machines doing the talking. So uh, anyway, wanted to just pass along this little bit of knowledge. Hopefully it's helpful to you. If it is, hit the like button on the video. And uh, also be sure to subscribe for more stuff like this. And, and then until then, uh, again, thanks for watching. Come back and check out another video and keep on stacking.